Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's video, I finally did it. So I've been talking for a very long time about rearranging my collection. I get a lot of complaints about um, people seeing in the background of videos things aren't alphabetized, things are out of order, and honestly, it annoys me too. And since I moved into this new house, I haven't really had a moment to uh, formally do that. And today, because I'm off from work and I have some time, I took the leap and yeah, I'm making a mess. I've got empty shelves, I've got movies, all over this room and I've just got piles of movies to go through. So I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna get to work and then I'm gonna show everybody what I kinda did here to rearrange the collection and how it's laid out now in this new room. So just so you can see the craziness here, um, this is the majority of my collection I would say at this point. And what I basically did was I had to take everything off the shelves. That's an empty shelf, empty shelf. I haven't even gotten to that one yet. These are all empty and this big one is empty. And I just put them in piles of, okay, here's all the A's, here's all the B's, here's all the C's, D, E, F, all the way through the alphabet, every letter piled up. And then we've got to take them off the shelves, put them in the correct piles, and then put them back on the shelves the way that I want them. So that's the kind of fun part. And so just to give you an idea, because I think this is really interesting, just looking at um, some different piles, obviously the M's, that's a big pile. Uh, these are all the T's, all the L's right here, all the D's, C's. Um, the S pile is pretty damn big. That's a big pile. B is also a big pile. And then um, what surprised me was even like W, I have a ton of movies with W's, um, a ton with F, a ton with G, and a lot with P. So it's kind of interesting. Not many O's, not many Y's, not many X except for X-Men. And then I have all the um, TV sets here. So these are going to be separated um, into their own kind of section alphabetized, but I've got a lot of TV box sets. And... This is probably 90% done. I've just got to get through these last four and a half rows, and then we can start putting all this back on the shelf. So guys, I am finally finished. I actually did it. All those movies that were on the ground are now on shelves all over the room. And so I want to talk a little bit about how I did this and also show you the new collection. It's been a little while since I updated and showed everybody the collection and how it's laid out. So we're gonna do that in this video, walk around the room and I'll show you how everything is laid out now after the latest rearrangement of all these titles, almost 3000 movies. Um, but basically what I did was I separated everything into piles by letter. So there's an A pile, B pile, C pile, right? And then I just put them on the shelves, uh, not in alphabetical order, like I didn't say, okay, a few good men comes before a star is born or anything like that. Um, those are actually bad examples because those are going to F and S. Um, but we'll talk about all this as I go through the room and the different ways that I sorted and hopefully it'll help you make some decisions as you're sorting your collection. So the first thing to note is as you enter into the room, right to the right is the first large shelf. And this is how I'm going to do this. I'm basically going around the room clockwise. So here's A, B, like C, D over here in the corner would be like D, E, F, G, H down here, it continues. Over here, I actually have a different sub collection. And then around here, you've got like your uh, S, T, R, and then into Y and Z. So it just goes around the room in a complete circle of alphabetization. So that's how that worked. Now, as I was going through, you know, I obviously started with the numbers. But you can tell that I didn't actually like alphabetize completely. So like here we have Arizona and then Across the Universe and then Annihilation, then Arrival uh, and then Anchorman. Like these are all out of order. But what they are is they're all A's. 
And so I just put all the A's together. So now I know, okay, I'm looking for, uh, say, uh, American Ninja 2. I can come right to this section, and I only have about, you know, 40 or 50 movies to search for, and then bang, I see American Ninja 2. There it is, I know exactly where it is. And so I don't have to go crazy every time I get a new movie, like making sure it's in the exact right order. I just need to know like, okay, that goes in the A section, that goes in the B, that goes in the C, and so on. So that's been uh, really convenient. Now, as we move over here into the corner of the room, this is my typical video backdrop. And as you know, this was always the horror shelf but I've now not done any genre matching. So this is purely alphabetical. And you can see that this starts at the Fs, then I got some Gs, down to the Hs, into the Is, um, and Ks, and so on. So no more just strictly genre specific because I had a whole shelf here of horror movies, right? This thing holds like, I don't know, something like almost a thousand movies. And so I'd say, oh, I want to watch this movie. I know it's in horror. And then I would spend an hour going through this whole shelf looking for the damn movie that, you know, now I can find in less than a minute by just jumping to, oh, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for the girl with all the gifts. Okay, it's in G. I know where that is. So it just makes it a lot easier. I won't have themed areas. Like I still have these guys up here and I still have, you know, Jason up on the wall and stuff. So it's still like... It's still horror themed, but the shelves are not specifically horror themed. Um, although I did manage to keep certain collections together, like all the Halloween movies are here. Um, all the Jaws movies are here down at the bottom. I tried to keep stuff together where I could, um, but ultimately that'll take some time to go through and fully sort out different series and, and things like that. So now this shelf used to be TV shows and documentaries, and now it's just another alphabetization. Um, down at the bottom, we've got M with the Matrix trilogy. And so over here, we move into N and O. Uh, and that's sort of what fills out that shelf. I also did use it for display. You can see like my signed steelbook from Jordan Peele, some of the stuff from the movie Us, a couple other autographs, um, and then a big box set. So um, I still need to display things on these shelves that are out of order, but at least I know the majority, 99% of the movies are in this order. Now on this shelf, what I did was I kept all my Scream Factory titles together and that one's bouncing up and all my Arrow video stuff. So these are alphabetized, um, but I did want to keep them together because I really like the way they look on a shelf. And so I've got all the Scream Factory and then it moves into uh, Arrow right here with Alice, Sweet Alice. It doesn't have all my big Arrow box sets. Those are still on another shelf because they take up a ton of space, but it has most of the special editions in any of the individual releases. In that same vein, I also kept the Criterion shelf, so I didn't touch this. These are in spine number order because Criterion does a really good job sorting their collection already. And so I didn't mess with these at all. I didn't put them in with the regular collection. They get their own special shelf. Uh, I really like the way they look on a shelf as well, and so I wanted to keep them together. Now over here, it got a little messy because this is where I have a bunch of like overflow box sets and TV. So you can see there's like... The Shield, Broad City, Reno 911, some of the Nickelodeon stuff, Nathan For You, SNL, Stranger Things, um, and then more uh, Nickelodeon, Beavis and Butthead, Miami Vice, Seasons of South Park, Ash vs. Evil Dead, Batman, um, you know, all kinds of stuff I kind of just threw in here. And these are the big, big box sets. Also got my rock band drums here. Um, but these are the big, big box sets that, you know, would take up a ton of room on the shelves and really... Um, not allow me to have much space elsewhere. So I just kept these all over here so I know where they are. And now we're over in the corner of the room and you can see this is where it continues. The last of the R's into the S's. There were a ton of movies that started with S. I think that was the largest. Um, S goes all the way through to here. So it gets almost a full shelf and a half itself. And then the T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z over there. And so you can see I still got some room. I've got about, uh, I got room for maybe 50, 60 more movies, maybe more than that, maybe more like 70 or 80 before I need to buy another shelf. And then over here, I still have all my box sets and things like that. Steel books are still on the bottom shelf. Um, and then I've got, you know, the Avengers box set, Hitchcock, Batman, Breaking Bad barrels back there. I want to do some more with some of this. I'd like to put more of it on display. Um, like the Breaking Bad Barrow and this Avengers set. I just need to find the space for it. Um, but then all the Arrow video box sets 
are up in the back as well. You can see those floating back here. Um, they're a little covered right now because what I have, while I was going through the collection, I did some purging and I realized I have a ton of duplicates. So like Warcraft on Blu-ray, I have that on 4K. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation I have on 4K. The Martian I have on 4K. I had duplicates of Hustlers. I have the new Arrow edition of American Werewolf in London. And so I've got a nice stack here of, I don't know, 15 maybe movies that I can um, take to Bull Moose now and trade in and get some more credit so that I can uh, buy new 4K releases, anything I don't get from the studios. Uh, I typically go out and just buy it from Bull Moose because they're really good with their shipping. So this will contribute and get me at least two or three more titles uh, based on what's in this uh, little overstock collection. And so then the last of the movies in, in physical media is right here and it's just sports stuff. This is the sports shelf. Um, as you know, I'm still a big sports fan. I got sports stuff all over the place, Boston sports, but I have things like 30 for 30. Um, I've got like that signed by Mickey Ward from The Fighter. Um, and then I have all the different like World Series champs, Super Bowl champions, OJ Made in America from ESPN. There's some more um, Blu-rays here, World Series, Celtics champions, Stanley Cup, all kinds of stuff. Um, so I keep those separate and there's, that's just a small collection there. Um, and then we're right back to the, uh, original shelf here at the beginning. So that's it for the room that, you know, some of the interesting things that I ran into, like I said, um, I didn't do this completely alphabetical. I went like A's, B's, C's all together. It's still going to save me a ton of time searching for movies. And then there are some interesting kind of, of things you run into while going through your collection, which I think it's important to do every once in a while. First of all, I found all those overstock movies that I don't need anymore. Real estate is at a premium in this room. Shelf space is at a premium. And so anytime I can get rid of 10 or 15 movies and go trade them in, not only do I get credit so I can buy new 4K movies or upgrade other Blu-rays to 4K and then trade those in, but I also open up 15 to 20 spots on a shelf, which is super important. Allows me to expand the collection a little bit further without needing a new shelf. Also, you're going to find that, you know, you're going to have to make your own sort of alphabetized method here. For instance, if you had a movie like A Hijacking, A Star is Born, um, uh, I'm trying to think, The End of the World, like whatever the movie ends up being. If it starts with a, uh, the, whatever that is, I went by the first letter. So, you know, if it was the Spiderwick Chronicles, okay, the Spiderwick, I go with S. I ignore the T. If it was a Star is Born, I go with S. I ignore the A. If it was a hijacking, I go with H. I ignore the A. The only thing that I did, which is maybe a little different, was the uh, word it's. So, um, for instance, it's a wonderful life. That goes under I. Um, and so I did some things like that, that you're going to have to make decisions on your own where those go. But I try to follow like typical like library sorting. Um, also box sets or uh, multiple editions like triple packs, double packs. Those can get a little strange. And so what I did was I based it off of what my collection app told me from Blu-ray.com. So I would look up the movie, say I have a triple pack that has um, The Departed, uh, the Aviator and Goodfellas in it, I believe. It's like a Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio triple pack. Although Scorsese, didn't, I don't think he did The Aviator. But anyways, it's a, it's a DiCaprio triple pack. And so what I did was I looked that up in my app and The Departed was the first movie that was listed. And so if I searched for Goodfellas in the app on Blu-ray, I would find that the app would show The Departed, The Aviator, Goodfellas. And so I'd always be looking at The Departed first. So I put that in the D section um, so I'll always know where to go. Another example was I had a Sean Connery, James Bond uh, volume two set, which had a few movies in it, Thunderball being one of them. So I searched Thunderball on my Blu-ray.com app, and that pulled up the listing, which was listed under Sean Connery 007. And so that went into the S section, because anytime I search for one of the three movies in that collection, it's going to show me S, Sean Connery, 
Okay, so that's where those go. Um, there's little nuances like that, and depending on what collection app you use or how you want to sort your collection, there's different things you can do. But those are some of the things I ran into that I thought were interesting um, and that you sort of have to tackle while you're starting to organize and come up with a good plan so that you're not mixing and matching and putting a hijacking in the A section and a star is born in S and then you just don't know where to look. Now I always know to skip those first kind of um, very simple like uh, the blah 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 and just go right to the first letter of the uh, major title. So thanks for watching this video. This took me an entire day. So this is actually the morning after I worked on this all night, all day. My back is just shot right now from bending over and putting things into piles and and grabbing stuff off the bottom shelves and it's it's pretty tight but i'm really happy it's done i think it's gonna be super helpful for me it makes me feel a lot better about this room and i won't get any more complaints in the comments that how the hell do you find any movies i heard you and it was definitely a problem <laughs> it was a problem for me i know it was a problem for some of you watching like how does he sort this stuff uh, and so now you know, and hopefully this gave you some tips on how you could do your collection. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great holiday. I'm going to be off here for a few days. Just enjoy the holidays. I will come back after Christmas. We'll talk about uh, anything I got for gifts, some new 4K Blu-ray reviews. There's some really nice stuff coming out here at the end of the year, as well as a top 10, uh, maybe 10, probably 10, top 10 2019 4K Blu-rays, stuff that uh, really blew me away this year, sort of an end of year recap type video, which I do every year. So stay tuned for those. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on all those notifications so that you know when these videos go live. And also let me know in the comments how you sorted your collection. I'm really interested to hear. I heard a lot of it in the community posts that I posted on YouTube while I was doing this, but I want to hear how you sorted it and anything you ran into while uh, reorganizing your collection because this was a super interesting process for me. I, I found out a lot about my collection, honestly. I uh, kind of rediscovered some movies I forgot I had that I want to watch. And so it was really cool just to go through all of these 2,800 movies and just kind of physically touch all of them and, and get like reacquainted with the collection. So, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great holiday and I'll be back soon with more videos.